Thomas Neville Wall. Thomas Neville Wall, January 5, 1813, July 28, 1903, was a Confederate States Army Brigadier General during the American Civil War. Civil War. Before the Civil War, he was a teacher, lawyer, judge, and planter. He served for a year in the Provisional Confederate Congress from Texas. He was captured at the fall of Vicksburg, Mississippi, on July 4. 1863 and exchanged in October 1863. After his promotion, Wall served in the Confederate Trans-Mississippi Department. He was wounded at the Battle of Jenkins Ferry. After the Civil War, Wall was a farmer and lawyer who lived in Texas until his death at age 90. Early Life Thomas N. Wall was born January 5, 1813, in the Sumter District now Sumter County, South Carolina, near Stateburg. He attended South Carolina College, now the University of South Carolina, until his junior year, then moved to Florence, Alabama, where he was a teacher. He moved to Vicksburg, Mississippi, in 1830, where he became a lawyer in 1835 and a judge. In 1850, he moved to Gonzales County, Texas, and became a planter. Wall made an unsuccessful run for a seat in the United States Congress in 1854. He served as a delegate to the Texas Secession Convention. American Civil War Thomas N. Wall was a member of the Provisional Confederate Congress from Texas between February 19, 1861 and February 17, 1862, when a permanent Confederate government was established. He served on the Committee on Commercial Affairs and Committee on Indian Affairs. He opposed the African slave trade as a diplomatic effort and restrictions on the cotton trade. He supported establishment of the central government, free trade, and local defense. Wall lost his run for a seat in the First Confederate Congress of the regular Congress of the Confederate States. On May 17, 1862, Wall entered Confederate States Army service as Colonel of Wall's Legion, which he recruited. Wall was captured when Vicksburg fell on July 4, 1863. Wall was promoted to Brigadier General on September 18, 1863, although he was not exchanged until October 16, 1863. His performance and leadership were commended by then Major General Stephen D. Lee. Wall then commanded a brigade in John G. Walker's Texas Division in the Confederate Trans-Mississippi Department. Wall's brigade fought in the Red River Campaign, at the Battle of Mansfield, and the Battle of Pleasant Hill in Louisiana. On April 30, 1864, after being transferred to Arkansas to oppose Union Major General Frederick Steele's Camden Expedition, Brigadier General Wall was wounded in the left arm at the Battle of Jenkins Ferry. He returned to service in September 1864 and until December 1864 commanded Brigade I, Division I, I Corps of the Trans-Mississippi Department. From January 1865 to May 26, 1865, he commanded Brigade I, Division I of the District of Texas, New Mexico, and Arizona in the Trans-Mississippi Department. There is no record of his parole. Later life. After the Civil War, Wall returned to Texas where he was elected to the first Texas Reconstruction Convention. After practicing law at Galveston, Wall retired to Hunt County, Texas, near Greenville, where he was a farmer on his property named Cherry Hill Plantation. A marker still stands to this day on the property honoring General Wall's life. Thomas Neville Wall died in Hunt County, Texas on July 28, 1903. He is buried in Oakwood Cemetery at Fort Worth, Texas. Wall had no blood relatives at the time of his death.